Hey, it's me. I needed an escape. My mom came up for a few days and I wanted to take her to one of my favorite places, Friday Harbor. This is an island in the San Juans and we were originally going to take a little passenger boat to the island, but due to engine failure, we ended up taking the ferry. I haven't been on a ferry since I was little and I was so excited, but also pretty nervous. Not because of the ride itself, but because of how different I am now compared to when I was a kid. I've been so anxious the past couple weeks that it almost felt strange to get away for a while. My mom and I spent two days in the harbor. We chilled on a rocky beach and looked for itty bitty teeny tiny shells. We ate great food and drink and dessert. We stayed at this beautiful spa and spent hours wandering the town. On the second day, I got up crazy early. All right, it was like 6 a.m. But I spent some quality time just sketching. I went and sat out on this little sort of rocky outcropping kind of by a beach. But I haven't allowed myself to just sketch without a plan since I started feeling my anxiety rearing its ugly head more than a month ago now. So I just let go and drew what I felt. That sounds super corny now that I say it out loud. But what I mean is I just drew the shapes that I wanted. I played with textures and facial features. It ended up looking similar to the more fantasy, surreal art that I used to do when I lived on the boat, actually. Because of my rustiness, though, as soon as I sat down to paint back in Seattle, I had no clue what to do with my colors. I knew I wanted the background to be cool-toned, but after that, I got pretty lost. First, the lips were way too dark, and then I thought maybe making the eyelashes even darker would fix things, and that made it so much worse. Then I lightened the hair, and that made something click. I realized something I hadn't before. My color palette reflected my previous mood. Hear me out here, I had pictured this lovely airy painting when I was sketching at Friday Harbor, but as soon as I got back to the city to lay down my paint, my color scheme became much darker. I totally forgot the peaceful quiet of that early morning on an island and dove straight back into my old colors. When that realization hit me, I kind of took a step back to see the wider picture. I've been so afraid of what the future could hold that I've only been seeing the darker colors. I had a chat with my mom tonight and she said something that struck a chord with me. She said, this is not the only future you've created for yourself. Meaning the past has held both good and bad and so will the future. Or at least that's what I took from it. So I changed the painting completely. I changed the shape of the lips, made her eyelashes white instead of black and everything just seemed to fall into place. It was a nice nudge of a reminder just to trust my gut and not go with what I have been doing. Not all paintings need the same color scheme and not all outcomes come the same way. Anyway, I feel better. More in my own head and in my own skin again. More me. I think I like the way this painting turned out. It's not one of my favorite pieces, but it was fun to change up my style. Leave me a like if I got way too deep and should really just leave the philosophical talk to my mother because she's way better at it. <laughs> If you want to see me keep making art, strange or not, subscribe. I upload just about every Saturday. But I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.